More from the Palestinian perspective is Dr. Mustafa Barghouti, who is the co-founder of the Palestinian National Initiative. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, according to various organizations from Human Rights Watch to the UN, the violence in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank has claimed countless Palestinian lives over the last couple of years. Are you concerned that these attacks by Hamas on civilians in Israel are ultimately hurting the Palestinian cause? I do not uh, accept killing any civilian, whether Palestinian or Israeli. And I don't think killing civilians is a solution to any problem. Uh, but the reality is that uh, the, the, the root cause of what we see today is the continuation of Israeli illegal occupation of Palestinian land. The fact that the West Bank is still occupied after 56 years uh, and uh, becoming the longest occupation in modern history, an occupation that has transformed into a system of apartheid. Gaza is also under another form of occupation, besieged from every direction. And now Israel is declaring that Palestinians are animals and that and, and imposing a, a complete and total siege on Gaza, depriving people from food, from medications, from water, from electricity. A whole population of 2.2 million people are punished today. And I don't think that the killing of civilians in Israel justifies now killing the Palestinians in Gaza and then blaming Palestinians for the fact that Palestinians are killed. This is unacceptable. And dehumanizing Palestinians is unacceptable. The way out of this is different. It should be a de immediate de-escalation, immediate exchange of prisoners, immediate ceasefire, and then finding a way of ending this occupation. For people who are, are unclear from afar exactly what the unrest is about, is it clearly boiled down to a land dispute or, or is it far more complicated than that? No, it's about violation of international law. As I said, uh, Palestinians are subjected to Israeli illegal military occupation. And uh, this illegal occupation has transformed into a system of apartheid, according to Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, and even Israeli human rights organization, B'Tselem. This is a much worse apartheid than what prevailed in South Africa at one point of time. Uh, more than that, Mr. Netanyahu has been doing everything he could since he came to power in, 2000, in 1996 to kill the possibility of peace. Uh, this is a very simple case of people who are occupied, people who have been oppressed for 56 years. Uh, my grandfather, my father, my, myself, and my daughter have never seen a day of freedom. Uh, and uh, what Palestinians need is equality like everybody else. What we need is the, our right to be independent, our right to be free from any oppression and from the system of occupation. Can you see any path forward to peace or diplomacy? The only way out of this is immediate ceasefire, immediate de-escalation, immediate exchange of prisoners, so that all Israelis who are now held in Gaza could come home safe, and all Palestinian prisoners who have been in Israeli jails for such a long time, including one that I know that has been there for 43 years, this should stop. And we can open the road to real peace by accepting Palestinians as equal human beings, by, stop, by stopping dehumanizing Palestinians and accept them as equal partners. I've always said, if Israel doesn't want two-state solution, does not want us to be free and end occupation, then let's live together in one democratic state with equal rights. But you cannot say that all of Palestine is only Jewish and Palestinians have no place to stay in especially that our number today is equal to the Israeli Jewish people. Dr. Mustafa Barghouti, we thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate the conversation. Of course, co-founder of the Palestinian National Initiative. Appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.